The Catch-22 of Alcohol and Mental Health The Catch-22 of Alcohol Alcohol is a mood changer. It alters our state of consciousness. We often drink alcohol to ease feelings of anxiety, depression, physical pain and emotional distress, which is referred to as self-medicating within the field of mental health. Alcohol in itself does not directly cause mental health problems, but can be a contributing factor to developing certain conditions such as depression. The catch-22 of alcohol means that some people who have mental health issues and drink frequently experience a further worsening of their mental health. People with no existing mental health issues who drink frequently are susceptible to developing mental health problems such as depression and anxiety. Drinking alcohol to provide short-term relief can become a crutch. However, over time, drinking alcohol in this way can have the opposite desired effect and cause a deterioration in our mental health. Problematic drinking brings further issues such as drink driving, relationship and family breakdowns, which in turn negatively impact on our mental health. Mental health, stigma and barriers. Mood problems, particularly depression and anxiety, are very common in today's society, particularly under the current unprecedented circumstances of COVID-19. Historically, mental health issues have been perceived as a weakness. Although this is beginning to change, especially as many people in the public eye are openly talking about their own mental health, However, many people are still reluctant to seek support and so rely on self-medicating, primarily with alcohol. Self-medicating with alcohol for mental health issues can in itself become a barrier to accessing support. Many mental health support services offering treatment, including talking therapies, struggle to assess the true nature of underlying mental health issues when alcohol is identified as a problem. Medication commonly prescribed by GPs for conditions such as depression and anxiety are less effective when alcohol is present. Alcohol and its effect on the brain. When we drink alcohol, our bodies produce extra dopamine which travels to the parts of the brain known as reward centers. These are the bits that make us feel good and make us want to do more of what we're doing. As well as making us produce more dopamine, alcohol is a depressant, meaning that it slows down brain functioning. The calming effects subside, followed by more negative emotions, such as anxiety, depression, and anger, which together with the effects of a hangover can leave us feeling sluggish, unwell and low for a number of hours or days. Over time, heavy drinking leads to a deficiency in dopamine levels, which could further contribute to us experiencing low mood. We may then find ourselves in a vicious cycle, whereby we are drinking to relieve unwelcome feelings, yet these symptoms only intensify and can prompt us to drink more. The highs of alcohol. Drinking lowers our inhibitions, so helps us to be more sociable and less shy. It makes us feel more relaxed and lifts our mood. It improves our confidence in many situations. Initially, it helps reduce anxiety. It can also dull physical pain. The downs of alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning that it slows down brain functioning. The initial calming effects subside as we continue to drink, often replaced by more negative emotions like anxiety, depression and sometimes anger. Alcohol disrupts our ability to rest and sleep. 
it can intensify underlying negative feelings, evoke memories of past trauma or unpleasant experiences. It can increase risk taking and may lead to poor decision making. Tips for healthier drinking. The Chief Medical Officer's guidelines recommend drinking no more than 14 units per week for men and women. Spread your 14 units out over the week and aim for two to three units a day with breaks in between and days off drinking. There are many unit calculators available online, such as at CGL and DrinkAware. There are also apps available to download. Keeping a diary, not only of your drinking, but also of your feelings, is very useful. It helps you to keep track of how much you are drinking and how your drinking may be linked to your mood and feelings. Make sure you have alcohol-free alternatives to drinking alcohol. Keep hydrated. Please see the CGL Knots YouTube channel where you will find other helpful videos on safer levels of drinking, keeping a drink diary and harm reduction advice if you think you might be physically dependent on alcohol. Improving your mental health. We are living through unprecedented times with COVID-19 and it is having a profound effect on our mental health. Many of us are turning to alcohol to help, but as we have seen, this is not the solution and can cause further damage. So let's consider ways of improving our mental health. Get active. Increase contact with friends and family within the constraints of restrictions of this second lockdown. Learn new skills. Take the opportunity to revisit old hobbies wherever possible. And remember, if you are experiencing mental health issues, you can always get help and advice from your GP and consider talking therapies, which are still available online. Mindfulness is a very useful technique, which helps us to focus on living more in the moment rather than worrying about problems and the future. Here are some online alcohol support services which you can access for further advice and information and if you wish to refer yourselves for support and treatment. Here are some mental health and other support services which you might find useful and want to access for further support and help with your mental health. Remember, drinking less may improve your mental health. Thank you and take good care of yourselves.